Welcome to one of the Tech Byte video by CMG. My name is Reza Malakuti, and in this video, I would like to show you how to couple the IMEX or GEM dataset into a well surface facility coflow model. In CMG, we offer the explicit coupling of your IMEX or GEM reservoir models to their corresponding wellbore and surface facility models that you may have built in CoFlow. Here, I am showing an example of coupling two reservoir IMEX data set representing two different gas fields in here, which I have been able to couple them into their wellbore models and in the visual facility network in CoFlow. Reservoir A is coupled to wellbores and facility A and similarly, the reservoir B is also coupled to the wells and facility B in here. We have also modeled the integrated facility where we commingle the production from each facility in here at that point and sending the stream into the sales export in here. This workflow can be applied to any unlimited combination of your IMEX or GEM datasets in CoFlow. Now let's move to the CoFlow interface to see how such a coupling between the IMEX reservoir model and a CoFlow model can be achieved. Our assumption here is that the user has got already built the uh, reservoir model using IMEX, so the dot dat files are already ready and also user has built the uh, PVT model, the uh, wellbore models and also the uh, facilities. In this demonstration we are going to couple uh, two reservoir IMEX models uh, into CoFlow. Each reservoir model has got a different uh, PVT fluid model that uh, we uh, used black oil correlations uh, to build them, fluid A and uh, fluid B. And then uh, these two fluids would be merged together in the integrated facility uh, section here. In order to accurately capture the mixing effect of these uh, two fluids, in CoFlow, uh, we can uh, use the approach to, to model such a behavior. Click on that, create a guided task, and then from the available uh, list in here, select the K value from uh, weaving, and then make a name for this uh, model and uh, task name as a mixture. Click OK. In the first stage, we select our uh, fluid models first. Click on that button to add the uh, fluid model, which would be uh, fluid A with the tag uh, A. And the next one would be uh, fluid B with the tag B. Here we uh, map the uh, water A to the uh, water B component because uh, these two, proper, uh, these two uh, components uh, would be uh, the same in this example. And also that would reduce the uh, number of uh, components uh, in that model. Click OK now and then uh, validate the first stage. After that, move on to the next stage, uh, K-value uh, model uh, creation, where you can uh, see the uh, plot of the K-value of the kind of uh, mixed fluid of these uh, two uh, fluid A and fluid B. You can have a control on the uh, plot, on the viscosity, and also on the uh, maximum and minimum uh, uh, pressure temperature in here. Click OK and then uh, validate the uh, second stage. With that, we have now <coughs> modeled 
the uh, mixture fluid, which uh, we will be using later on this in the integrated facility section. Now we need to uh, import the uh, reservoir uh, data set. Go to the reservoir guided task and then click on that button. And from the list here, choose the using IMAX gem data set. Pick a name for your uh, reservoir model. We call it reservoir A. Click OK. And then from this option, we import our reservoir uh, from the uh, uh, path that we have saved on the machine. Choose the data set. Click Open. As you can see, all the wells inside that uh, IMAX model would be listed in that part of the window. You can either include all of them or exclude a couple of them depending on the objective of the study. In this example, we are excluding uh, this well and this one. You can also have access to the uh, builder or see edit if you would like to see the inputs of your IMAX dataset. Click OK and then validate the stage. Now we import the second reservoir IMAX uh, dataset. Again, click on that create guided task and choose the IMAX gem dataset and write a name for the second model. Click OK. Again, we import the IMAX from the uh, directory of the location that we have saved the model in there. Choose the model, click Open. Here we keep all the wells for this uh, reservoir B, include in the coupling, and then click OK here. Validate the first the, the stage in here and move on to the wells guided task. In the wells guided task, we have already defined all the wells A and B. Now we need to add uh, another guided task for uh, coupling the wells in the IMAX into the wells in CoFlow model. So click on that create guided task in here and from the list select IMAX gem well coupling and then choose a name for this task and click OK. Now you go to this stage and try to couple the wells from IMAX into the CoFlow side. If the name of the wells are similar between uh, two source, I mean the CoFlow and IMAX, you just press the autocouple button in here and automatically the coupling would be done for you. In cases that the naming are different, user would uh, pick the well from the CoFlow well and then find the corresponding well on the IMAX side and then press the couple in order to do that coupling. Click OK now and then validate the stage. Now in the integrated facility, we go to the create production facility stage. And from that option here, we change the fluid model into the mixture to make sure that the accurate PVT behavior is captured by commingling the uh, fluid A and fluid B at this uh, point. Click OK now and then validate the stage to confirm the changes that we just made in that stage. Now, in the last step, we define the simulation guided task. Click on the button. Again, choose a name for your uh, task in here. Click OK now. In the specify problem type and solver stage, we go and define our solver and then also the type of the coupling. 
First of all, the problem type should be selected as time stepping problem. And then in the uh, simulation part, as you can see, the start date has already been captured from the reservoir uh, models. You can uh, change it to the later dates if you would like to do the coupling at later times. Uh, and then here we add the end date, which in this case would be 2031st of January. Then in the prior solve section, we choose our prior solve to be the uh, network constraint uh, solver. Then move into the numerical settings and then auxiliary tab and then change the coupling mode from the default implicit coflow into IMEX gem explicit coupled. The frequency of the handshaking time between the coflow and the IMEX could be defined in here, which is by default to one month. It could be changed to other frequencies if it is required. And then, depending on the size of the IMEX models, user can decide about the number of the CPU to assign to each reservoir IMEX model in here. Click OK and then validate your stage in here. With that, uh, we are uh, finishing the workflow of the coupling between the IMEX and uh, coflow. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for your time and attention.